Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, actually, just a, a very, very weird thing which happened to me, which I've uh, actually managed to figure out with the help of the support people over at Signal RGB from their Discord. So, uh, big shout out to you guys over there. This is something which not everyone's going to suffer from, and it's probably going to be more so if you're in the UK. If you're using a ISO layout keyboard, so if you're not too sure what a ISO layout keyboard is or an ANSI layout keyboard then you can just go to somewhere like uh, keyboardnews.com or keepsnews.com. This is basically keyboard layouts. Uh, all credit to uh, these guys. Great site. So the ANSI layout has the return keys, uh, just a flat return key, whereas International Europe or ISO, we have the uh, kind of upside down L shape and the key layouts are just a, a little bit different. So this is basically the key problem. So with Signal RGB, I was going into my effects. Now I'm using a Corsair K70 RGB keyboard, Mark II version. Soon as Signal RGB would fire up, or very soon after, the hash key would stop working completely. Now the hash key is directly next to the enter key. So I went over to their site and on the Discord, asked if anyone else had had this issue before, and straight away they come back with a great answer. So. I figured there must be at least one other person which is searching for the same thing. So if you try to Google this, hopefully this video is going to come up. And actually for other people with other keyboards that potentially are not working correctly, this is how to go about fixing it. So in the Signal RGB main screen, so we're starting off on the home page, what you want to go down to is go down to Devices. Now I would have thought personally it's going to be down here somewhere in Settings, but it isn't. So go into your Devices and here it should be detecting all your devices. If your keyboard supported it will be shown down here along with my mouse, IQ, motherboard etc. So click on the keyboard or the item you're having problems with and then you go into the settings cog. So click on settings and you've got options for keyboard layout which uh, for some reason it doesn't detect it. So Signal RGB does not off the back know which location you are or what country which is what threw me so you have the option here for using the ANSI layout so if you're in America you would use that and your keyboard would look something like this one which is pictured on there obviously this is the Corsair K70 RGB I'm not sure which version it is but yeah the, you can see there clearly the enter key is the flat one but we don't have that we have the ISO layout they don't actually change the picture but this does actually change the settings so now my hash key works so if I click on there and type hash that works and if I turn into ANSI mode and do the same thing it works at the moment but after a while it will stop working I'm not sure why it does it but eventually it will stop working so anyway hopefully that's going to be helpful to you better change it back uh, if this video has been useful smash the like button if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis hit that subscribe button and if you want to get signal rgb i'll put some links for it in the video description it is free there is a free version some of the effects and uh, for cooling pc monitoring are part of the pro version which obviously if you want to get that you're more than welcome to and also you can join both our discord and also signal rgb's discord if you've got any problems so uh that's going to be it for now. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.